name is John Faddis. I play the trumpet, and I've been in New York professionally since 1971. So that's 45 years. And in, during that time, I've had the chance to play with, of course, Dizzy Gillespie, Thad Jones and Mel Lewis Orchestra, Charles Mingus, Gil Evans, Duke Ellington, Count Basie, Benny Carter, uh, Quincy Jones, Aretha Franklin, uh, The Village People. You know that song YMCA? Da, 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 and the uh, trumpet goes, pew, 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 pew. That's me. <laughs> Big hit. <laughs> and, you know, and, and got a chance to meet so many of my musical heroes on the trumpet. Uh, Snooky Young, Clark Terry, Lou Soloff, Sweets Edison, you know, just, it just goes on and on. So, the, you know, my experience is very uh, long. Uh, I think the farthest back I can go is someone born in 18, I think he was born in 1880-something, U.B. Blake. I got a chance to play with U.B. Blake, ragtime piano play. It was beautiful. So, so... You know, the people have been beautiful. When I, when I do a workshop, a lot of times I try to get a feel of what the audience needs. So concepts that I'll speak about are breathing, but before breathing comes posture. You have to good, have good posture. Um, the approach, my approach to the instrument, how to practice. You know, what happens when you keep missing notes and you break things apart and then put it together, put it back together again. I mean, Lou Soloff showed me something years ago. Start at the end. And then go to the bar before. The bar before, you play backwards and put it together. So that's something, you know, I never even thought of that stuff. You know, I, when I was studying, I practiced what my teacher told me. And then I listened to Dizzy, and I was trying to do that. Then I listened to Louis Armstrong later. I listened to Roy Elder, Doug Miles, Clifford Brown, Fats Navarro, Chet Baker, you know, Harry James, Ziggy Elvin, all these cats I'm listening to, Sweets, Rex Stewart, Buck Clayton, Thad. Thad Jones is very highly underrated. And just try to take some things that they do. Kenny Dorham, oh, my goodness, and Woody Shaw. Um... And so my approach is very heavily based on transcript, transcriptions. One of the, uh, I think, crutches young people have now is something that slows down the music so you can hear it. But that's, that to me is sort of cheating. That's cheating, period. You know, in talking with uh, people like Jackie McLean who studied with Bud Powell, and you say, you do those transcriptions, you don't write it down, it's all by ear. So you develop your ear and that. You learn how to actively listen. So usually when I'm hearing another trumpet player, I know what key they're playing in. I don't have perfect pitch, but I can hear the pitch of the trumpet. And then my fingers start to move along with what they're doing. It's just because I've been doing that for years. Abilities that we have with our instrument and what our instrument can do. But then again, it's not the instrument. It's the person behind the instrument. So it doesn't matter if... If you play this mouthpiece at this mouthpiece, you know, if when, once you get to a certain level, you can play on any mouthpiece. It's just what makes it easier and more comfortable for you as a person. We're all different. What mouthpiece works for me may not work for you. you no, I, you put it up to your lips and say, no, right away. And then you put this one, this is good. And the same thing for me. What works for you may not work for me. So we, it's all about finding our own paths or our own path. We have to find our path. And once we get to the top of the mountain, the view is the same. doesn't matter how you get there as long as you get to the top. <laughs>